Itro here. Today we're going to be covering the last part of the stats page and that is the finances tab. Now if it is one of those tabs you most people don't need to normally go into because you can get quite a lot of information from the taskbar at the top and if you mouse over the income here you'll get a balance income from the island and then we'll also get a breakdown across all islands on population where income is coming in and where the expenditures are going out. So if we have a look at the income tab with control and E, we have the finance tab. Uh, these are the current finances on this particular island. So as you can see, we are currently making 64000 and $85. However, we have expenditures on the island at 37,393. And that is where we get that 26,692. So if we have a look at this over here, we can see population on the island. We have the numbers here are the number of houses, not actual individual people. We have 61 houses of artisans, six engineers, 100 farmers, 85 investors, and 81 workers. And this is the actual income they're bringing in. Now, the expenditures we have down here, we have administration. We have city institutions. So, fire stations, hospitals, police stations. And then, administration is town halls on the Docklands Wharf. Infrastructure. We have the oil harbour and the warehouses. Uh, production buildings. We have 143 production buildings. And the maintenance costs are coming to this amount. 13,962. And we can see over here how many buildings we have. We have four bakeries, six brick factories. And these are the actual costs here. So you can see the most expensive thing here at the moment is the fur dealers. And then the sewing machine factories. So if we want to reduce our production costs, we could, if we really wanted to, start importing or transporting it from another island if we wanted to, or using the global trade network, and start to import those for lower, cheaper items that we can produce. Then public services we have over here, the obvious bank, church, pubs, and whatnot. And then royal taxes. And this is where the deductions are coming from. Most of it is going to be coming from the investors. So TLDR on royal taxes. How do royal taxes work? Royal taxes are basically a tax deduction depending on, on the number of people you have on an island. And the more of a tiered item or population you have on an island, the greater the tax will be. And the cap on the tax is 40%. And to have the 40% tax on your population, you need to have 4,875 people on the island on that category. So I probably have over 4,875 investors. And we are going to be getting taxed at the full amount. However, our farmers, because they're a lower grade, have a cheaper amount and we don't have that much farmers over here so our farmers aren't costing us very much in royal taxes as we don't have a huge amount of population over here and then again the arsons we have 1805 so if we have a look at the actual population we can see here the investors are at 4415 so we're probably at the very top or almost at the very top on the tax rating and then again, the artisans are going to be the next. And then the workers and then engineers, because we only have six houses here, we are going to be at a reduced amount. So if we have a look back at finance again, as you can see, because we have that little engineers here, we're not getting any royal taxes on them at all, because we have under... 1,000 population on the island. That's when the royal taxes will start to kick in at 1,000 and it'll start at 9% taxes. So you can literally just save yourself uh, 
money on royal taxes just by sharing your working force around multiple islands if you really wish to. So we're still on the same island and we just reset to the main page here and we selected the residence tab over here and we're looking at again over here our breakdown of the finances that are coming in. Now we can actually have a look into this in more detail. If we actually have a look at the engineers here where we only have six houses, we can see here that our houses here are filled by 84% on their needs. So there's 84% of the population there. And this particular house here is making me $248. However, this house here, which has the same population uh, status at 84%, is bringing in $483. But then we have the next one here, which is at 83%, and it's making 296 So why is this? If we have a look here, this house here has no effect items, so it's got no buffs. And this one here has workforce, right chance, happiness and workforce, and residency size. So the next one. Okay, so this is where the difference is. This book here is increasing the income in the house. Uh, so is that one there. And that is increasing housing size. So we're increasing the number of population here. And we're also increasing the income from the increased population as well. So that's where the increase in income is coming in, even though they're only fulfilled at 83% because of the supplies on the island. And again, we can do this across any of the other islands here, sorry, populations here. Again, we're at 53% and my investor is making $310 per. Whereas this one is same 53% percent of its population is, is in the house and making nearly double again that is because of the income books and increasing the housing size and you can do exactly the same sort of thing across all of your islands if you really like you can select all islands and now we can see a full breakdown of exactly all the numbers of houses and the individual breakdown and we can also see things like our visitors peers we only have one visitors peer and it is on max suppression and it's making goes 11,156 per cycle and again we can if we want a full breakdown we can see all the deductions that are happening here and we'll also see all of our trade ships warships on the all islands tab as well so hopefully this is giving you a slightly better look at where all your money is coming in from a brief overview on royal taxes and how you can actually figure out where all your boosted income is coming from if you did enjoy the video do appreciate any likes on the video and any subscriptions to the channel and comment down below if there's another video you'd like me to cover off next catch you on the next one